What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to another show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Now, this video right here, I want to, I want to, I want to address this this guy right here. He sent by the media to uh, blind people from the truth. Um, that that's what he's here to do. Um, he said Kanika died by her own dumb mistakes. He said everybody that's saying Kanika got murdered, they're the op. This, this is what he's saying. He said it's strong evidence that this, this was an accident. Um, not a murder. Okay, number one. Number one. Let, let's, let's break down what he said. Okay. He said it's strong evidence. Let's go there first. That's showing it was an accident. What strong evidence is, is shown that it was an accident? Now, somebody please tell me. Where's the strong evidence? So I'm supposed to believe Cook County Medical, a town that has falsified autopsies. Go look at their history. Look up Cook County and, 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 and John Cav and Cavanaugh. Cook County, Cavanaugh. Look it up. Cook County all, uh, autopsies. Go look it up. You'll see they have a history of falsifying autopsies. So we're supposed to believe the autopsy that Cook County gave us. And they have a history of being corrupt. This is what you're telling us, sir. This is what you're telling us, sir. We're supposed to believe what they tell us. That's evidence. What they say is evidence. See, you have people that are sent like Gray Hughes and this guy here to blind people from the truth. They take it up for they're taking up for Cook County. They take up for the hotel. They take up for the organ trafficking going on there. They'll make up an excuse why they put Kinnick in the freezer, all this stuff. They will defend that. That's how you know these people are sent. And when you get closer to the truth, believe there is opposition. Okay? There is opposition. And I'm going to tell y'all a secret about me that y'all don't know about, that y'all don't know. And I'm going to let y'all in on a secret. I have family that work for the FBI. And I'm going to leave it at that. Yes, I have relatives that work for the FBI, the good part of the FBI. You have evil and, and, and you have evil and corruption everywhere. Okay? And... Yes, I have a family member that works for the FBI. And I know the people she works with. It's a she. I know the people she works with. And it's a good side and a bad side to the FBI. But one thing, I, I do like talking to them. And they always ask me, man, you should have joined. You know, you should have hopped on. And you should have become a detective, uh, <laughs> Dave, or... Uh, David, you should have became the detective. You should have gotten to law. I said, no. I'd rather be God's agent in the earth. I'd rather be God's detective. I'd rather be God's uh, investigator. You know, because I don't. I like to bring the facts, but I also like to bring the spiritual side on on how wicked. I like to expose the force behind what's going on. It's always a force of evil behind this stuff. Like this guy right here, he's trying to blind people from the truth. You mean to tell me we're supposed to believe a town that's full of organ trafficking? They put bodies in freezers. We're supposed to believe what they say. That Kanika walked in the freezer, but they put bodies in freezers, okay? So you're going to tell me she wasn't put in the freezer? You want to believe Cook County Medical who falsify autopsies all the time? You want me to believe Rosemont Police who have a history of crime cover-ups and working with gangs? Yeah, you won't tell me that, that her crime wasn't covered up? Man, please. But see, these people are sent to distract and to blind. And let me tell you something. You're going to have people who they will never accept the truth. You got to understand. You have, you have people who like being lied to and they like being led astray. They like being lied to and they like being led astray. They like walking in darkness. The word of God even said it. Men love darkness rather than light. That's why people don't like the truth because the truth brings you to the light. We live in a world where people love darkness like vampires. As soon as they see the light, it's like, oh, they can't take it. You ever see these vampire movies? As soon as the, as soon as the sun comes up, the vampires can't take the light. It's too much for them. They can't handle it. And these are people just like vampires. They like darkness, man. As soon as the person speaks the truth, they can't take it because it's, the light is shining on the situation. And you have people like he, this guy and Hughes and other people who are set to block people from the truth. 
He don't want you to know the truth. That's why he's disrespecting her case, calling her dumb and all kind of other stuff. What does her having to be dumb have to do with people drugging her? What is her be being dumb? I'm just saying. Which I know she wasn't dumb, but I'm just saying. But that's what he's trying to call her. What, what does that have to do with people drugging her? What does that have to, have to people doing guiding her? What does that have to do with Crown Plaza Hotel editing the videos and timestamps jumping? Huh? What does that have to do with, with, with the corruption and the crookedness that goes on in Rosemont? What does that have to do with gang stalking? Somebody please tell me this. All that crap he said didn't make any sense. But to a person that's asleep, they would fall for his garbage. So he's in every, uh, this guy's in every Facebook group. He's everywhere, man. He's, he's, he's trying to, he see that people are not falling for the okie doke. And he getting mad, just like Hughes. They get mad when you start uncovering the truth because they want you to sleepwalk. They want the masses to stay in the matrix. They want you to stay stuck in the matrix. In other words, they want you to stay programmed by what the media tell you. The internet tell you what Crown Plaza Hotel told you in the video. They want you to keep focusing on that stuff. That's what they want you to do. They want to program your mind. So once they have your mind programmed, they, they have control of you. But people don't understand that. People like being controlled by the media. People don't, like, people don't want to think for themselves. People don't want to ask God for direction and insight. People don't want to research. People don't want the facts. People don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> that's, but that's the world we live in. It's the sick world we live in. But you do have people who are looking for truth, who are looking for light, and who are looking for justice. My job is to shed light on the situation. That's, that's, that's my purpose. I'm here to shed light on a dark, wicked, evil world. That's my purpose, okay? All right? I'm like Star Wars. I'm like Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. I'm on the light side of the force, all right? Everybody that's a Star Wars fan, I am. <laughs> You know, the, the war between good and evil, light and darkness, righteousness and wickedness, you know, corruption and justice. It's, it's, it's a thin line between all of that, and, it, and you choose what side you're on. I mean, bottom line, I'm just here to expose and, and shed light on everything in darkness. That's, that's my purpose of this. And hoping somebody good in the system will see her case and be like, yo, this stuff, this needs to be reopened. We need to send some forces down to Rosemont and have them investigate it. You know? That's my purpose. But you have people like him who are sent to keep the pulling the wool over your eyes. So they will say ignorant stuff and disrespectful stuff about her case. That's how you know they're not J for K. And you keep trying to tell people this was an accident when all proof shows you this was a cover-up. This was wicked. This was evil. She was put in a freezer. When you see Rosemont's history of corruption and wickedness, sex trafficking and organ trafficking and cover-ups and working with gangs and all kind of dirty stuff, you start to come to the light. So when this opposition, this dark opposition, wants to stop you from coming to the light, they're going to try to jump in Facebook groups and all kind of stuff and just try to blind people from the truth and like I say with me zillionaire if you don't want to accept the truth I'm not going to argue with you that's your choice don't watch my channel go to another if you want to hear fantasy lies and you want to be led astray go somewhere else okay I'm here to lead you in the right direction I'm here to shed light if you want to come to the light if you want to take the red pill if you want to uh, uh, you know if you want divine revelation if you want wisdom, if you want insight onto this, into this case, if you want to see the truth right in front of your face, then you'll subscribe to Zillionaire. But like I say, man, if y'all don't want to hear the truth, if you don't want to hear facts, if you don't want to hear how wicked this case is, go to somebody else's channel, okay? And this man right here is defending Crown Plaza Hotel. He's defending the Rosemont Police. He's defending everybody and disrespecting her at the same time. Crazy. I'm your boy Zilly. I just had to do a short video of this guy right here. Just straight disrespecting her case. It's just, just evil, wicked people, man. But see, it's just like the media and society. Society is set up to blind you from the truth. Social media is set up to blind you from the truth. Why do you think that whatever's trending? Who says what's trending? I'm going to say this again. Who says what's trending? The internet. 
the people who run the internet. And every time something is trending, people run to it. People run to what's trending because they tell you what's trending. They tell you what is trending. They tell you this is trending. And because they say it's trending, everybody follows that. But this is so easy to program people. So easy to program people, man. People like being stuck in the matrix. I'm here to shed light on everything in darkness. You heard me? Star Wars. I'm on the light side of the force. You want to be on the, If you want to stay on the dark side of the force, stay there. <laughs> be my guest. Stay there. I've choose to walk in the light. And I'm going to shed light on this case as much as possible. Okay? I'm your boy Zillionaire. There's people like him who are sent to blind you from the truth. Okay? People are sent here. Like Morpheus in the Matrix, he told Neo, it's the world created around you to blind you from the truth. They want to keep you from knowing what's really going on. Because what's going on behind the scenes, that's the real world. What's, what went on behind the scenes in her case, that's what really happened. What we didn't see, okay? What they're not showing us. They jumbled the, the hotel, jumbled the videos up to distract us and to manipulate us. Crown Plaza Hotel has all kind of murders everywhere, all over the world. And they have the nerve to have a murder mystery game. And they're laughing at us using Kanika as a murder mystery. It's sickening. But this is what these elite powers do. And it's sad that you could pay Negroes to kill your own kind or give your own kind up into sex trafficking and organ trafficking. It's sad, man. It's really sad. You got people doing... Got people, same color as you. They'll, they'll, they'll give you up for sex trafficking, organ trafficking, if the money's right. This guy right here, I'm just telling you, I just wanted to just tell you about this dude. He's all in face, all in the Kanika's groups. And, he, and what kills me is he tries so hard. This is how you know he wants to blind people. He gets mad and he tries so hard to convince you. <laughs> Her, her death was an accident. So you will not come to the knowledge of the truth of her case. I tell you, the truth is light. What's in darkness will come out to the light, man. And I'm here to expose it. I'm your boy Zillion. I'm out of here, man. I just want to do a quick video on this guy right here, man. Wicked, boy. Just wicked. I'm out of here. Incorporated.